one of the biggest lessons about borrowing money for my kids is to for them to learn that when you borrow money, you have to pay it back, usually with interest as well. Uh, of course, as parents, you know, I feel weird about charging my kids interest, but I think they need to learn the concept. They compare and they say, well, you know, so and so, my friend, they their parent buys them whatever they want. And it's like, okay, well, would you rather me buy you everything you want or would you like to learn how to be responsible and have your own money? Do you want to always ask me for money or do you want to have your own money? And then invariably they always choose, ah, well, actually I do want to learn to have my own money because they want independence. Sometimes my kids want a bigger purchase, like a, a more expensive thing. And if it's something that I agree with, and actually, oh, I want, I would like them to have it as well. And it's something not within their reach financially. What well, I'll offer is to pay 50, 50, they pay 50%, I pay 50%. And then it gives them a chance to actually save up and work for it extra and to feel some of that responsibility themselves. We pitch in together and then they get that item and then they actually get it in the end, but they didn't feel they were just given it. They actually felt like they earned part of it. And so they actually value it and take better care of it too. I think teaching them how to buy, not impulse buying, not buying on credit, but buying with what they actually earn is very important for my kids. I use, a vis use visual aids for that to show them that if they buy on credit, it's actually more expensive in the long run because they have to pay interest and actually draw it on paper for them. Or we actually use coins and say, look, if you want to buy something right, right now and you can't wait because you want them, you want it now, but you don't have the money, we can go to the bank and the bank will say, oh, okay, I'll give you 10 coins because that's what you need. Okay, but you will have to give me back in one month 11 coins. So what would you like to do? Would you like to wait and pay 10 coins or would you want to get it now and pay 11 coins? And a lot of the times they'll think, okay, well, actually I can wait. I don't want to have to pay more for it. What I did once is that they, they wanted to buy something bigger. So I decided, okay, well, I will let them borrow from me and pretend I'm the bank. I didn't charge them interest. But what I did was decide, okay, well, we'll have to write an agreement. You want to borrow X amount of money from me, right? Okay, and we worked out a time that, okay, well, that means you'd have to pay me back this amount every week. And that means their full allowance plus what they would have to work to get extra. And then after two, three, two or three months, I think it was three months, we decided that, okay, if you don't pay it back, then here's your written agreement. They actually write it out and they signed it that I can repossess it to be able to sell it and make the money back kind of like a bank would do. It was actually a painful experience for them because I did have to repossess it because after about a month, they kind of got lax and they decided, oh, I wanted to buy this, wanted to buy that again, that was more impulse spending. And in the end, I had to confiscate and take that item away and sell it at the next garage sale because I needed to make the money back. And this was a way for them to learn in real life what actually happens. And now the next time they want to borrow money, it makes them feel a lot more responsible and to the end that they actually have to pay it back in time.